Hey guys, what's up? It's Avery Derek. We're gonna check out the Mambo, Mambo, Mambo Man on the Nintendo Switch. Now, the Mambo, interesting quick fact, was made by three people in the lobby of a hotel. Yes, this game has a lot of tender love and care behind it. That's pretty impressive. And I believe oh, one of the guys learned how to code just to make this game. So that alone is pretty impressive. That shows that the American dream can be made. Now, what exactly is the Mambo? It's like a cross of Smash Brothers with a little bit of WarioWare with a little bit of, I don't know, Super Meat Boy, some weird stuff. I mean, it's not exactly like those games, but the overall premise is Smash Brothers in my opinion. Now, the catch to this game is they pride themselves on the one button attack type of game. To, to describe the attack, you push the A button to do one attack. If you hold it a little bit longer, it does a different attack. And if you hold it down for a longer time, it does a bigger attack. Okay, it takes a little bit getting used to, but they pride themselves on how minimal the gameplay is for this. The analog stick also moves your character around the screen. And if you tap up, you could jump. You could even jump like twice. You could do like a double jump or three jump. I don't, if it's one, two, three, you could jump three times, yes. So it's very minimalistic. The graphics retro style 8 bit, which is fantastic. There's a lot of these old retro new Neos, ne retro Neo. I'm gonna call it retro Neo games that are coming out. There's three modes into Mambo. There's multiplayer, which is the heart and soul of this game. You grab up to four people and you play in a variety of randomized levels. You can unlock tons of them. Each level has obstacles and different things that you can do in them. The main goal is to knock your opponents out of the stage. Now, usually you have to knock them into these bricks that surround the area. They're breakable. Once that happens, all bets are off. Last man standing wins. As I mentioned, very simple to control, very simple to play. Just use the analog stick to move around and use the A button to do one of three attacks. If you hold the A button too long though, you'll stall in place and kind of have a freak out, whatever. I talked about how simple these graphics are. You control a little circle with a smiley face on it and you get assigned a color. I mean, that's all you really need, right? You don't need impressive HD graphics for a fun little multiplayer like this. And it controls wonderfully. I, 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 there's not much to it. You don't gotta worry about it. You just gotta push A. Now there's also a solo single player campaign mode that has you choose from Four different modes there's like an easy medium hard and you know super duper whatever you want to call it there's a variety of different levels each level gives you an instruction at the beginning like warrior wear like survive escape find the key stuff like that so you got to beat the level within a certain amount of time or you lose and it's a little fun and a little bit chaotic but it does its job you know, having a solo player campaign is always nice in a game, and it was nice that they managed to do that. Now, there's another game that's on here. It's Survival, and it plays a lot like an old-school arcade game like Galaga, where enemies are coming in from the top, and you basically have to defeat them, and there's, like, a thing that you have to protect or hide behind. It's a nice little um, addition to solo and multiplayer so there's a lot of gameplay content in here now the one thing that this game does lack is there's no online multiplayer so i don't know about you guys but it is kind of hard for me to find four people to play with it would have been nice to have a little bit of online multiplayer but that does not hinder the enjoyment of this game that's something that maybe if there's a sequel to mambo 2 that they can add on and not to mention you know the switches play anywhere Find somebody else to play with. Go make a friend. Go to Walmart. Go to Kmart. Go to AGB. Whatever store you have in your city. Find somebody to play this game with you. It's a blast to play with somebody else. So overall, Damambo is a nice little hidden gem. A little underrated hidden gem in the Nintendo eShop. I don't think enough people are talking about it. It's one of those games that offers a lot of bang for the buck. And it was made by three people. That's where I can't get over it. Overall, I think the Mambo is worthy of a good, solid 9 out of 10, believe it or not. If it had online multiplayer, I think it would probably be one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch library. Just thinking about this being made in a hotel and how much polish has been put on top of it is impressive. It's definitely worth a look and a must-have in your Nintendo Switch library, especially if you're looking for something to play local couch co-op on with some friends. And well, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.